Freedom First Sports Desk with John Apicello. February 1st means a new three-degree charity over in the Weather Center. It means Groundhog Day is tomorrow, and it means National Signing Day. Here we go at the Eagle's Nest in Rocky Mount. Two football standouts and one wrestler put pen to paper. Quarterback Eli Fouts will suit up for Emory and Henry. Wide receiver Ian England will play in the ODAC at Bridgewater College after a stellar senior season. And Caden Smith will wrestle at Marymount University in Northern Virginia. Just three shining examples that continue to leave a mark at Franklin County. An educator, it's important that you know the kids that want to further their educational career is a big deal. But if they want to continue to do sports, um, you know that's just a bonus with them. You know all those life lessons we know that athletics teaches kids and and, and so forth. To be able to continue that at the college level is is awesome. Indeed, it is awesome over at Patrick Henry, Jazz A. Kimbrough to Kent State, big time Mac action commit. John Miller Penn heads to West Virginia State as a defensive back, and Xavion Smith to Alderson Brodus in West Virginia. Three more great athletes coming out of Allen Fiddler's football program. It's really exciting for us as coaches, especially because you know when these guys are young and that's their dream, and to be able to, to achieve their dreams today and uh, have the opportunities that they have is exciting. And, you know, and a couple of them at a big time level, and, uh, you know, we're just rooting for them and hope, hope they have as, as much success as they did here. At William Fleming, well, he announced his decision last night on Twitter, but Lewis English is headed to VMI. He's a 6'2", 175-pounder, standout receiver, and cornerback for William Fleming. Coach Rocco, Bill Parker, and then the new receivers coach, uh, Coach Hampton, really did a great job of, you know, standing on me, getting on me, uh, getting me down there, uh, telling me how I could be a big part, part of the team as soon as I get up there. Meantime, in Daleville at Lord Botetourt High School, a pair of stars moving on, including Carter Hudson, a miler in track and field, headed to Lynchburg College while he'll join some former Cavalier track men. And Noah Leonard will continue his baseball and academic career at Hampton Sydney. It all happened real quick. Uh, three colleges were all coming at me, and then I went and took a trip to Hampton Sydney, and I, I fell in love with the place, and I knew that's where I wanted to go. There is such a talented and phenomenal program competing on the national stage multiple all-americans it's just all around like a great environment and a great culture there indeed and at hidden valley high school the titans will send kicker brody layman to division two glenville state for football the three-year letter winner will leaves hidden valley third all-time in pats and fifth in field goals made layman is all district and all region second team selection so I've been on five visits before Glenville. I went to Glenville State. Absolutely loved the campus, loved the coaches, fell in love with like, everything they had to offer. You know, I hope my, my story carries on for all the other kids that end up coming to Hidden Valley and looking for something to do. You know, and kicking is a great thing. People, you know, people throw it off because it's kicking. And at the home of the Bees, Drake McDaniel to Emory and Henry, Jordan Kiger to Southern Virginia, and Colby Ferguson to Ferrum. Congrats to that trio. And at Perry McClure in Buena Vista, the big man John Snyder will take his skills to Emory and Henry. Congrats to him. Got some